This tutorial demonstrates the basic dialog settings of using XNURBS. XNURBS dialog for different applications is very similar, and for the demo we use Rhino. XNURBS can be used to create quad-sided surfaces and n-sided surfaces. Quad-sided surfaces are natural NURBS surfaces without trimming, like the rounding surface showing here. Insided surfaces are also called trim NURBS surfaces. The term insided surfaces is used in a broad sense. For example, this blending example is also called insided surfaces. XNURBS settings for the two types of surfaces are a bit different. Firstly, we explain the difference, and then demonstrate other XNURBS settings. The typical flatness control settings for quad-sided surfaces and n-sided surfaces are different. The flatness control option affects the flatness and quality of generated surfaces. For quad-sided surfaces, you should generally use the first and second positions marked here. If the boundary conditions are relatively simple and smooth, the rightmost position of the flatness slider could generate perfect surfaces for quad-sided surfaces. We change the flatness control settings to demonstrate it. You can see the difference. For n-sided surfaces, the typical flatness settings are the positions marked here. You should use the first and second positions marked. Only try other positions if the typical flatness settings do not generate the desired surfaces. As a rule of thumb, if the boundary conditions are relatively simple, dragging the flatness slider to the right could generate better surfaces. When setting XNURBS dialog, this is the most important difference for the two types of surfaces. Next, we explain other XNURBS settings in detail. The constraints section shows the constraints you select. You can select edges, vertexes, as well as 2D or 3D curves and points as constraints. For each constraint, you can apply contact, tangent and curvature continuity by selecting the corresponding radio button under continuity. To remove a constraint from a selection, press and hold control while clicking the constraint. For each constraint, you also need specify if the constraint is a boundary constraint or an internal constraint. These selected constraints are boundary constraints. We select an additional constraint. Obviously, this constraint is an internal constraint, so we need switch off the boundary option for this internal curve. Show preview displays a preview of the surface generated. Satisfy precision requirements specifies whether to output a surface that satisfies the precision requirements, or a surface that ignores the precision requirements. Unchecking the option is useful for a number of circumstances, for example, rapid concept design or a single span surface etc. As demonstrated here, when switching off the option, it generates a single span surface. Zebra preview displays the zebra preview of the generated surface. The Apply Continuity to All Constraints checkbox enables you to apply the current continuity control to all constraints when possible. The Trim the Generated Surface checkbox specifies whether or not to trim the generated surface. Obviously, if you select Quad-Sided Surface, this option is ignored. Optimize for Quad-Sided Surface specifies if the generated surface is optimized as a trim surface or as a quad-sided surfaces. Obviously, this example is a trim surface and is not a quad-sided surface. We use another example. If you select the quad-sided option, then the boundary curves must form a two, three or four-sided boundary. This is a case of two-sided boundary. This is three-sided. For this case, boundary condition does not support G1 or G2 continuity. We need apply G0 to this edge. This is four-sided boundary. Optimize for quad-sided surface triggers a special optimization and can generate perfect surfaces for quad-sided surfaces. You should switch on the quad-sided option when possible. UV flow has three options. We use another example to clearly explain this option. Natural means no requirement for UV flow. Normal to curve. For quad-sided surface, this option could also keep V. ISO curves of the generated ZNURB surface, normal to the boundary curves. The Align to Adjacent Curve option aligns V. ISO curves of the generated ZNURB surface to adjacent curves. This option only works for quad-sided surface. 
Generally, users should select the normal to curve and align to adjacent curve option because the two options trigger additional optimization and can generate better surfaces. So you should select the two options when possible. The G0 and G1 precision sliders enable you to set G0 or G1 precision of the generated surface. Dragging to the right lowers the precision requirement. The G0 deviation X nerves can achieve is less than 0.001 mm, and the G1 deviation is less than 0.05 degree. Such tolerances meet the precision requirement for the most demanding applications. You need reasonably set the G0 and G1 precision requirement, and set the precision requirement based on the patch size, the complexity of constraints, and surface quality. For example, if you have a large patch with complex boundaries, you need lower the precision requirement or split your patch into multiple patches. Otherwise, with an inappropriate layout and tolerance setting, you won't generate good surfaces. For the quality control option, dragging to the right improves the surface quality. While dragging the quality control slider to the right could improve the surface quality, it could also increase the number of control points and under some circumstance, slightly relax the precision requirement. You should generally use the leftmost position of the quality control slider. If the generated surface is not smooth enough, you can improve its quality by dragging the slider to the right. While well, X Nerves has an unlimited capacity of solving nerves and generating high quality surfaces in a matter of milliseconds, it does not mean you should blindly use it to generate surfaces from complex constraints. We use a hypothetical example to illustrate this. On the left, we use one patch to blend the seven edges. On the right, we use two X Nerves surfaces to blend these edges. For both cases, we set X NURBS properly for the corresponding patched. Obviously, the layout on the right generates a better result. In general, the simpler your constraints and patch are, the better surface quality X NURBS generates. To generate high quality surfaces, you need consider the layout or split your patch into multiple patches. For example, this SUV model is designed using X NURBS and this is the layout used during final modeling. As a rule of thumb, if the generated surface has more than 25 control points in U or V direction, you might need to adjust your X NURB setting, modify your curve constraints, or consider your layout. For the automotive models you see here, 90% of the surfaces and components are designed with X NURBS. Once you understand how X NURBS works and how you can use it, X NURBS makes the design process much easier, faster, and more predictable than the traditional surfacing methods. The patch layout shown here is a simple recreation to showcase X NURBS features in a brief way. As you can see, during speed modeling or rapid concept design, designers usually start with a broad overbuild of the surface and then break down or split the surface into smaller pieces as needed. As mentioned before, during speed modeling, designers usually reduce the accuracy requirement. When surface reflections don't line up or produce unwanted artifacts, designers then split the big surface into smaller pieces and use X NURBS to rebuild those smaller sections until achieving the required surface quality and deviations. In final design, more patches are generated during the actual creation of the model using X NURBS to produce the results you see in the final render. The demo is made by X NURBS version 6.1. Genuine version 4, 5 and 6 customers can get a free upgrade to version 6.1. You can download some models in this demo from here. That is all for now. Check out our other tutorial videos for how to use XNURBS efficiently. Thank you for watching.